Welcome to ToolTutorial.com. Background Eraser Tools This is advanced eraser tool used in editing. It shares single cell in toolbar, with Eraser Tool and Magic Eraser Tool. Background Eraser Tool is used to remove background with just one click and drag. Let's see how it works when you select this tool your cursor changes to a circle and a plus sign inside it. Now you just want to click on your background and start dragging where you want to erase background. But Photoshop doesn't know what background is for us so wherever that plus mark goes, that color range will come in its radar. Now firstly see a quick basic example to understand its working. Here you can see when cross mark was on blue area, it was only erasing that color but when I move brush and take it on yellow color, then it samples that color as background color. It was an overview of this tool, now let us come to its options and have some real world examples. Sampling. Here we have three types of sampling on our option bar. Continuous, once and background swatch sampling. Photoshop doesn't know what is tree or sky, for us sky is our background but Photoshop understand it by color sampling. When I select once, it just takes sample one time when he click and drag our brush, as a result it only arrays color range what it reads first time, and that is of sky blue color, so now we have our tree as it is. To have some different color range in radar, just click again on area and start dragging brush. This checker box texture means transparent area, so here I am creating a new layer with white color, and putting it under the layer of our picture. Here you can see some spots of color, erase them also and finalize this image. Like this you can change backgrounds. Now when we select continuous it is taking sample again and again wherever you drag the tool, in that case when my pointer goes on tree color at that time it reads it as background, as result it start erasing tree also. But it is useful in those situation where background has multiple color ranges, like in this image we have cloudy sky with some different color range. In these situation it is easy to erase background with continuous sampling. And when you select background swatch, you just want to pick background color from your desired background, it will only read that color range as sample. But it is not that much useful. Contiguous and discontiguous. In contiguous, it is like a barrier, like here it is affecting this blue color in bounding of color of branches but not affecting other areas separated with color of branches. And discontiguous is just opposite to it, it will affect all areas coming in range of its brush size. Tolerance means range of sample color, more tolerance increase the range of sample color. Protect foreground, if you checked it, it will not affect color which is set as foreground color. This tutorial comes to an end. For more tutorials visit www.tooltutorial.com